Every once in a while, companies hit me up and they say, Bobby, we want you to promote our product. Well, this time it's Apex and it's actually a good freaking product. So many times have companies hit me up and they want me to promote their stupid little jump starter for their cars uh, and their junk. I always receive them. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I get them. They're junk. They're never worth anything. This one, on the other hand, is amazing. I'm not just saying this. You probably have seen other YouTubers promote this and it's because it's actually legit. Uh, it comes with all the stuff you're going to need here. Heavy duty wiring. These are actually just as heavy duty as the jumper cables I have in my truck. Uh, we have 100% here on the battery. Nice little interface. And this can also charge your phone, tablet, whatever else you need. They would have a type C output. So lightning charger on this. So you can charge your phone or tablet pretty quickly. Super easy. I can't show this jump my truck just because my truck's not dead. But what I did use this on, and of course I didn't film it. I'm an idiot, but I already used this product was on the Dodge Dakota. I got rid of that uh, last week with uh, just a fan wanted it. So, and it was dead, obviously. This thing, it's been sitting for months and months. Somehow this little thing started it up. And then I also charged my phone on it because I don't have any outlets out here at the couch. So it's pretty convenient just to throw this on the couch and charge my phone on it because the battery lasts forever. So Apex, make sure you hit them up down in the description. And if there's any coupon codes or stuff like that, I'll have them down there as well. After you have a new vehicle and damage appears like this, and it's just these little cosmetic things, it starts to wane on you where it takes a piece of you with it, where it's just like, ah, oh, it's not my new truck anymore. This is my, this is my rig now. It's my off-road machine, and I'm losing, uh, not respect for it, but it's just kind of, it takes a piece of you, you know what I mean? It's not this new, fresh thing. But you know what? I'm not giving up hope because we're going to be putting on the new off-road bumper here pretty soon. But also, we got a modification coming uh, that's pretty big. This truck needs it so bad. Real quick, want to talk about the giveaway going on. You guys didn't win the Saline Mustang. I apologize. But you know who's going to win the C6? You. That's who. I have a couple new products on the website. If you guys want to check them out, you can. The new Make America Bad Again stickers. That one is sick. If enough of those sell, we're going to make them into the shirts and hats and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely get on that. And then also limited run. We have like 10 of them left. The ZR2 poster. Yeah, check those out because it's all my products. So it helps me out, helps the channel out, and it all goes right back in to the ZR2 build, which a lot of you guys are super hyped about and want to see continue because I definitely do too. I look at this truck. I think it's so freaking cool. So I don't want to give up on this build. I don't want to just stick with the Bronco that's on the way. Um, so let's keep this thing alive and cooking. I cannot wait to own a garage. In this neighborhood here, it's just everyone's on top of each other and it gets a little claustrophobic whenever you're filming. I'm out in my driveway filming like this. They don't know I'm a YouTuber or at least the most of them don't. So yeah, it gets a little awkward out here. I need a garage so bad. I guess the day that I, we were off-roading out of the property, throwing their bang energies in the bed of the truck here. Star blast. I never plug my Instagram at the beginning of the video, so follow me on Instagram, rfracing717, if you guys want updates on all the builds and all the news coming to the channel because it hits there first before it comes to YouTube. But yeah, but I'm not gonna mess around here. Let's just get this modification on. And this new mod is so needed. Brand new taillights for the pickup truck. We need it just because with the yellow here, you can't be rocking these red lensed taillights. It just doesn't work. It looks like a McDonald's build. Red and yellow, even though this is a highlighter yellow, it just do not match. So smoked out taillights with the LED strip, bit of a newer run on this, and I think it's gonna make the truck look a lot better. So just look at how easy this is for the install. With the front, we had to take off the entire bumper. The rear, of course, in the 2021, they switch over to torque driver. Give me a second. Literally two screws. disconnect the wiring harness down here easy removal so again I think these ones are from Carid. Uh they're pretty dookie they're not that great at taillights but they look cool and I love how they have like this inlay step on this is just a bubble there's no uh no real curves on it not that that matters I mean they're freaking taillights for god's sakes but this is gonna look awesome like, oh yeah I'm already digging it. Yeah, it just sucks with the aftermarket because you can tell like even though they look cooler, like the wiring harness is here, everything is super flimsy. Like this is just a joke. Like I can't, this gauge on this wire is so small. It's not gonna be as reliable as OEM, but you know what, we're going for looks and that's all that matters. Wow, always blown away with taillights or headlights on vehicles. They just look so incredible the before and after. Oh yeah, with that little two-step, it's like an emerald, like little jewel cut here. So freaking sick. So we'll light these things up, get them plugged in, and I'll show you guys what they look like lit up. Hopefully not as crummy as what the front ones were, um, because I had to like replace the headlights with LED bulbs, because the ones they came with were just a joke. Um, but yeah, we have new headlights on this thing. If you guys want to see that video, that's up here in the top right. And then we have the new taillights on this thing, deleting that McDonald's look blacking this thing out love it four ways there i'm assuming the turn signal runs with these leds here that might be backup lights actually 
That's definitely what that is. I freaking love whenever trucks have this like white LED strip. It glows red, obviously, because we're on the brake lights here. So much better. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments on these. If you guys want to set, I guess, hit up card. Uh, this isn't sponsored. They actually kind of suck just quality wise, but they look cool. So I know it's a little cringy where it's like, oh, I'm going to prank call this guy. This isn't a prank call. I'm just calling back. You guys can hear straight from the horse's mouth uh, what he has to say to defend himself because I'm going to call him out. This is crap what happened to me uh, with this Bronco. Um, people are saying to contact Ford to dox the dealership. I might do it. And but you know what? And this is probably gonna land me in hot water because it's like man you're just trying to capitalize on all the crazy stuff that happened it's in case something goes sideways where they're like you're like they could sue me for slander or something like that where even though this isn't slander because it actually happened um they probably have deeper pockets than i do to defend themselves with an attorney so if this video gets five thousand likes i will dox the dealership i'm not gonna sick you guys on them or anything i'm just gonna say hey this dealership screwed me over, and uh, yeah, that's it. And I washed my hands of it. So 5,000 likes, you guys can find out the name of the dealership, but let's give old Bob a call here. I've been waiting to do this for a while. I'm gonna stick you guys in my toaster. We're gonna give Bob a call. Let's see if he answers. I'm a, this video could be a total flop because he might freaking just block my number. He's not going to answer. Hi, you reached Bob's. Just leave your number. I'll give you a call when I get a chance. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Bob, this is Doug uh, giving you a call here. I inquired about uh, one of the vehicles you guys had on your property. I was wondering if you guys could give me a call back. Um, phone number should be listed whenever I call on the phone. Yep, anytime, day or night, just give me a call back. We can talk about this car deal. Thanks, bye. Oh, God, all right. Well, this is clickbait then. Unless he calls back like before I edit this video, uh, we'll give you guys an update on the whole Bob endeavor. Oh, Bob. Bob, you didn't call back, Bob. He just texted me back. Let me do this without Docs and my freaking family members on the... Uh, just got a call from this number. What vehicle are you looking for? Bob! You know what vehicle I'm looking for, Bob? The freaking Bronco, Bob! Come on! Bob! So let's give uh, Mr. Bob a little call here, because you know what, Bob? You have my money, Bob. And I'm going to get it back. Yeah. And goodbye to anyone standing in John Cena's way! <laughs> Oh, he hung up. Oh my God, he hung up. Bob, Bob, come on, bro. I'm, I'm a moron. I shouldn't have let off with this stupid prank call. I shouldn't even have done that because then obviously like he's, he knows what's up and I don't want to call him. I call him twice more just because I actually wanted to get his reaction. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that because um, he just hangs up on me. I think he's too old because, um, yeah, I mean, he sounds older, so now I kind of feel bad. But still, really scummy what he did. Uh, but I guess he blocked my number. Some of you just isn't answering. I'm not going to keep harassing them because if I do have to make, like, a, a lawsuit here, I don't want them to have any ammunition where it's like, oh, he was harassing our employees. We're not giving back your $1,000. We're going to counter sue or whatever because I still don't have the money. This is days, days, days later. Uh, I went on vacation in the meantime. Like this is that's why I haven't seen videos for a week. I was down in Florida, and uh, th this is this is so beyond me how I still haven't been. None of this has been rectified. It's insane. Sort of a hollow video. You guys don't get much information other than hearing the guy's voicemail. I mean, this is pretty lame and a stupid prank call. Uh, so there's going to be a part three to this, obviously, because we have to see the conclusion of the trilogy here. Like I said, it's going to get to a point where attorneys are going to have to be involved. And I hate whenever it comes to that because it's just so lame. Like it, it's it's so lame. And normally. Um, not that I've been to court or sued anybody before, because I never have, but uh, my mom works for a law firm, and the way it works is they'll, like, type up a nice letter to them, just be like, hey, we don't want to go to court, so, like, maybe we should do this outside of court, and they try and figure something out. 
Um, so a lot of people, if you, if you have family members that are like an attorney or a lawyer or something like that, it's a huge asset because you don't have to go to court. You don't have to wreck anybody and, and ruin their lives or sue them or something like that. But the attorney or a uh, lawyer or law firm can write up a nice letter for you and it takes them five minutes and they'll hook you up because usually that kind of not scares a company, but they're like, all right, let's be professional here and try and work it out. So yes, the car dealership is in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Like I said before, uh, a lot of people were saying to me that it's like, oh, it's it, it was your fault because you didn't buy the vehicle. Well, what's the point of the deposit then? Like, I don't understand because like you should have paid upfront 100%. Like, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. That's the point of the deposit to hold the vehicle. It shows intent on buying. And usually the way it works then with the deposit is if you back out, you lose that deposit. So like, that's the punishment. That was the risk I took. They sold the vehicle so I couldn't get it. Others were saying it's like you never had that vehicle in the first place because Ford only has Broncos out that are reserved from people. Uh, people can back out of these reservations and then you can go in and buy it from them. So I'm assuming that's what happened here because it was for sale. It was listed on their website. So yeah, sorry about that. Just feel like I needed to defend myself on those two points. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I apologize for being uh, a little lackluster, not too much content to it. This is mainly about the headlight install or the taillight install and then uh, just getting a little bit more information on what happened with the dealership. So thank you guys so much for staying this long. Say, I, I got nothing for you. So just comment something in the video, show support, something like that. It really helps me out. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe for more content because we're doing the ZR2 build full-fledged. Um, actually, in this video, I wanted to include that we're going to be having a bumper put on it, the off-road bumper. So that is on the way for the ZR2. Tons of content coming, guys. Let's get it. <laughs>